the world could be facing a new front in the coronavirus epidemic as clusters of infections emerge beyond China. In nearby South Korea, which has more than 600 confirmed cases of COVID-19, President Moon Jae-in empowered his government to shut down cities to stop its spread. Following the advice of infectious disease experts, the government will vastly strengthen the overall response system by raising the alert level to the highest level. In a sign of the growing fear and tensions, Israel refused entry to a plane load of South Koreans. As new cases arise in the Middle East, Turkey and Pakistan temporarily close their borders with Iran. Afghanistan is also restricting travel to Iran. The country, which was untouched by the virus just days ago, now has the largest number of coronavirus-linked deaths outside China. Cases of travelers from Iran testing positive for COVID-19 have turned up in Lebanon and even British Columbia. At the same time, small towns across northern Italy have been placed on lockdown and were totally deserted Sunday with barely any cars on the roads or people on the streets. Revelers at the famed Venice Carnival wore surgical masks in addition to their exquisite masquerade ones. The last two days of the carnival, which draws thousands of people from around the world, were cancelled due to fears of a major outbreak. Panic is more contagious than the virus and at this point it's a bit unnecessary, don't you think? Elsewhere in Europe, four British cruise ship passengers have been diagnosed after weeks trapped on board the Diamond Princess. Dozens of confirmed cases continue to be reported since the ship's quarantine ended, prompting criticism. Even after they announced a quarantine, people are still walking around, going upstairs to buffet and all that. I mean, it's not a quarantine at the time. Like, that's, that's scary. A Japanese man in his 80s, now the third person with links to the Diamond Princess, to die. He was among the first group of people to develop symptoms when the ship was put into quarantine earlier this month. So far, none of the Canadian evacuees have shown any signs of being infected. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.